Hi, it's DeWire, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is March the 4th, 2021. Let's talk boxing, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now you have a big time fight coming up. Serhei Bohachuk or Bohachuk versus Brandon the Cannon Adams. I see a definite betting angle in this fight, but I need for people to have both eyes open because this is high risk. Understand, Bohachuk is 18 and 0 with 18 KOs. Nobody has gone the distance against him. He's a six foot, 154 pounder. He is a hook artist. Does not have a lot of ring coverage. Comes up to you, needs to frame his opponent. In other words, I get the feeling he wants his opponent between him and the ropes, right? He spends a lot of time trying to walk down his opponent. This is that bulletproof young fighter who hasn't tasted defeat, who has a certain style that's been successful, hasn't deviated from it. Missing to me is a stiff jab. Missing to me is an ability to deal with a moving opponent, right? Now I'm guessing when you're young and successful and unbeaten, the people around you tend to be yes men, right? I haven't seen the video of this guy where the guy is outside his envelope of skills, where he's doing something other than hunting down guys and then throwing hooks to wither them. Well, let me point out that Brandon the Cannon Adams, who's shorter, right? Bohachuk is six feet. Adams is 5'10". Adams can fight small. He can bend his knees. Adams also has excellent upper body movement. That's very important here. And Adams, who won the show The Contender one year, has also been in the ring with Jamal Charlo, a champion with whom he went the distance, right? Charlo was not bashful that fight. Charlo's on his front foot trying to hunt down Adams, just like I suspect Bohachuk will try. Now, understand, Charlo has ring coverage. He's a lot cagier, in my opinion, than Bohachuk. Who, I don't mean to criticize too much here. He's in his mid-twenties, right? But just understand, this is a young fighter. Not a seasoned champion like Charlo. And in the Charlo fight, Brandon, the Cannon Adams, granted didn't throw a lot of punches, but he went the distance. He was under a lot of stress during the fight, right? Charlo's trying to corner him, end it. And he bobbed, weaved, showed you defensive skills, showed you movement, kept disrupting Charlo's rhythm, moved around the ring. The skill set needed against this big hooker guy, Bohachuk. The bet I'm recommending here, and understand it's extremely dangerous. People handling a fighter like Bohajuk, who's 18 and 0 with 18 KOs, are looking for soft touches. Right? They're not going to look for a very dangerous opponent. They want their fighter tested a little bit. The emphasis is on the little bit. Just enough to improve his game, not enough to endanger his winning streak. The bet I'm recommending is the over seven and a half rounds. That means that the veteran, Brandon Adams, who's in his early 30s, 
is going to have to make it past the midway point of the eighth round. Right? Seven and a half means seven full rounds and half of the next round. He's going to have to do so against a guy who's making a name for himself, against whom no one has gone the distance. Right? But I get the feeling that you could slow down a guy like this who's looking to corner you and throw hooks. You can slow him down with movement. As he steps forward, you move laterally. Right? He's not going to be able to hit you from far away. He wants to get close to throw his hooks. So you could bother him with just positioning. Make sure you're a distance away from him. Then when the guy comes in and tries to throw hooks, either to your body or your head, you can hurt that strategy by showing a lot of defense, having hands up, which is what Brandon Adams does, and by showing a lot of upper body movement while fighting small. Have the guy miss. Have the guy understand that you're not going to stand there and trade with him. Rather, you're going to move your upper body. You're going to be elusive because you know the guy is not going to throw straight punches. They're going to be hooks. You know the guy's not there to outbox you. He's trying to take you out. He wants to continue his KO streak. He wants to create highlights that are going to have fans drooling and demanding that he get a title shot. So I get the feeling that Bohachuk is going to fight the same fight he always fights. I think for Brandon Adams, who's already gone the distance with Jamal Charlo, right? For Brandon Adams, he understands, you know, if I'm the first man, to go the distance against this guy. And keep in mind, you don't need him to go the distance. You just need him to make it past the halfway point of the eighth round. But Adams has to realize that if he's the first guy to go the distance against this young lion, it'll be noticed in the boxing world. Some other boxing manager who wants his fighter tested, but not that much, will look up Adams. I like the over in this fight. It's high risk. The casino has been savvy here. But I get the feeling this young 25-year-old unbeaten fighter isn't quite ready. Doesn't have enough skills at this point, enough awareness at this point, to KO a KG vet like Brandon Adams who already has fought world-class competition. That's how I see it. I like the over seven and a half rounds. But understand, you are operating without a safety net. Let's say that you believe that Brandon Adams is a live underdog. Well, if he does too good a job, you lose the bet. If he comes out and destroys this young guy, gets the KO himself inside of seven and a half rounds, you lose the bet. Right? Of course, if Bohachuk gets the KO inside of seven and a half rounds, you lose the bet. Right? This is a light switch bet. This is a high wire bet without a safety net. Either the fight makes it to the seven and a half round mark or it doesn't. I like the over here. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.